Okay, YouTube, this is Acid Roots. I've got a, another Maybach music group review for you, and this is Stally's Ohio. Now, this one was kind of beneath the radar, I would say le more so than the Gunplay album, but, you know, I do like this album quite a bit, and it's definitely one to further kind of flesh out Rick Ross's true vision. But at the same time, Stally is, you know, he's just like someone who Tech 9 has introduced to you or anyone else that gets intro introduced. This is a load of fun and you can pretty much get lost in these people's worlds, not just Rick Ross's world. This is something, I like the Gunplay album more, but I like this one probably better in terms of overall comfortability just because there are songs that kind of prove to me that it has some good feelings beyond just getting turned up and so obviously you know if you're made man you know you've got your shit together you know the gunplay's album is going to work extremely well but i think in some cases if you're not wanting to go out you need music just to kind of relax to and that sort of thing stally has that and it definitely i'd say more so it seems to me like he cares more about you know being in a ride and just cruising around town versus you know the the faster life it kind of it's kind of reminiscent of Paul Wall in a way. I think Paul Wall is another such person, you know, folks who take more interest in just lazy kind of laid back style. Cause that's somewhat of what this album feels like. It does feel it's Rick Ross, but it almost feels like what would happen if Rick Ross were to continue doing the soulful songs versus uh, you know, some of the more trap and music that he's done on, like, Teflon Dawn. But, yeah, I do have appreciation for this. So this album did have three singles, one of which is Always Into Something. This is the kind of song that I wanted Gunplay to have. This is real smooth. Just, it, it, it didn't chart, but it did have the idea of what to expect from Stally. Which I do like the idea of it. This is something, you know, you hang out in your backyard, drink something, and you're good to go. That's really the kind of song that you can vibe to. Now, obviously, there's one more shot with Rick Ross on here in August Alsina. This is another one. I appreciate this one as well, but I can't. I, I kind of actually appreciate the more beneath the radar Rick Ross releases more so than the high maintenance ones just because you get more from them. You get more of what they're doing versus, you know, I'm spending wads upon wads of cash. So you kind of get the sense of, you know, like some rappers, you may not know that they smoke black and milds. If you listen close enough, this is the sort of things that you're going to hear. And I do appreciate that, just knowing some of the extra details. But, yeah, so that's two songs right there. He kind of does an NWA-style song with the song Jack and Chevy's, which was also a single. And so that about wraps up the project as far as the, the promotion for it. Now, obviously, this is pretty good, but... I don't know how much noise it made because it came out about two years ago. So, from what I see of it, I do like what I'm hearing from him. So, the seven songs I'm going to recommend to you are... And this is... The seven songs I'm going to recommend to you are Problems, Boomin', One More Shot, Always Into Something... System on Loud, Chevelle, Jack and Chevy's. Now I described the singles to you, so I'm going to describe a few of the other ones. System on Loud is one of such songs where I feel like, you know, you got a ride, you're able to vibe to this song really well. Should not take long. I feel like Problems is another one. 
and Chevelle. These are some just real kind of get to know your town a little bit songs. And I mean, once again, it's just the interface is not intense. That's really the whole thing is it's not as if like, you know, I really am ready to take my shirt off, which I like the idea of. This is kind of something I'd expect from Tech 9 back in his early days, that sort of thing. But, you know, as far as getting like a gunplay style song, you're going to have to go to him for that. So, once again, I would have liked to have seen Rick Ross more, and I would have liked to have seen like a posse cut. You know, we could have gotten maybe wale on there maybe meek mill no, neither of these rappers are anywhere to be found and really we just could have used i mean it just feels like it's less uh relevant than meek mill's album that's really what it feels like when i reviewed dreams and nightmares i could tell that this was like a rap album that was noteworthy for the year, but this one just feels like something to kind of keep keep you sane while waiting for the next big release. So this is always a good thing, but it's just something to note just because it's kind of like a secret album. So with that, you know, me liking 6 out of 11 or 7 out of 11 songs, the almost song was Jack and Chevy's. So, 6 or 7 out of 11. I'm going to give this album a straight 6 out of 10. And, really, I want to give it a higher score because I like the singles more than Gunplay songs, but it needed some more cohesion. And, but, you know, I do like the feeling of this album. I definitely did. This is one, two, pick up. It's, a, it's another pleasant surprise, which is some cuts I've been really trying to do lately. The social score I'm going to give a 7 because there were three songs released to it and they're all good ones. Even though it's harder to, you may not even know about Staley, but the thing is, is when you do, this is dope. You know, this is definitely dope. So... All right, so can this record be topped? The answer is, is it's pretty much good to go. I mean, me giving it a six, I almost want to give it a seven, but, you know, I'm just kind of on the fence about it. So, in the future, once again, it's been two years. Maybach Music has not dropped a single album in 2016. So this is another thing that's a bit strange. I'm kind of hoping that they get the ball rolling again. But we haven't seen it. So hopefully we'll get that second Stally album. We'll get some more Maybach music. So Alright, subscribe for more fun.